be talking about taking the logarithm of and exponential equations. Now you know basic equation solving. If you have 2x plus 3 equals 5, when you solve that equation, as long as you add, subtract, multiply, or divide the same thing on both sides, you haven't changed the equation. So we solve it by saying minus 3 minus 3, 2x equals 2, and then you divide both sides by the same number, and you have x equals 1. Well, it's the same principle with taking the logarithm of. If I were to take the logarithm of each side to solve this equation, I would just write log 2x plus 3 equals log 5. That's perfectly legal. I've done the same thing to both sides. I've taken the logarithm. Now, remember, if I just write log, that's the same as log base 10. If I write ln, that's the same as log base e. And that'll help us when we're solving equations, which one to use. The reason we take the log of something is because we have log and ln buttons on our calculator and we can solve equations with them. So let's go ahead and do an example so you can see what happens. First of all, if I have 10 to the negative 2x plus 2 equals 8. Now, first of all, you can see there's no way to solve that normally, okay? Um, you can't, you've got to change 8 into 10 to a power. And because if you have the same bases on each side, if I said 10 to the 5th equals 10 to the x, that's easy to solve. The exponents are equal. So if we do the same thing here and make them both base 10, then we can solve this equation. So we would choose log because log is base 10. So if we take the log of this side and the log of this side, we're saying the exponent, because log means exponent, the exponent that changes 10 into 10 to the negative 2x plus 2 is negative 2x plus 2. The exponent that changes 10 into 8 has to be done on your calculator. So you just do log 8, and you get 0.903. So 10 to the 0.903 is what you get, um, will give you 8. And you can see, 10 to the 1 would give you 10. So this has to be less than 1. <clears throat> so now all I have to do is solve it. Negative 2x equals 0.903 minus 2. Once again, we're solving like a regular equation. And then you divide by negative 2 to get x. And you can do all that on your calculator. Now, what happens if instead of 10, you have e? You have e to the negative 2x plus 3 equals 5. Well, use ln. Because if I take the ln of this side and the ln of that side, the exponent that changes e into e to the negative 2x plus 3 is negative 2x plus 3. The exponent that changes e into 5, now e is approximately 2.73. So you know it's going to be a little bit bigger than 1. So that helps you to know if your answer is logical. So you would hit ln 5 and it gets 1.609, <clears throat> which makes sense. So now you would just subtract 3 from both sides, and then divide by negative 2, and that will give you x. What if neither one of them is 10 or e? Let's say we have 5 to the 2x minus 1 equals 6 to the x minus 2. Well, then you have your choice. You can use log or ln. You could say log of both sides. So the exponent that changes 5 into that, well, you have to do log, log 5. It'd be 0 0.699, 0 0.699 times 2x minus 1, okay? Because remember, with log conversions, you can take and move this out front. 
So it's really 2x minus 1 times the log of 5. So that's how you can get that. And then you would do log 6, and you get 0.778. So you have 0.778 times x minus 2. And then use your distributive property and solve for x. You have a calculator, so it's nice and easy to solve these. All right? Now, if you were to get an equation that looked like this, okay, if one side is 2 to the x minus 1 and the other one is 4 to the 2x, you don't have to use your calculator at all. Because remember, 2 to the x minus 1, this would be 2 squared to the 2x. So then you just have x minus 1 equals 4x, and you can solve it. All right? So when you have two that are, you can be converted to the same base, you don't even need to use your calculator.